that my answer to you i will give you beautiful epic answers for this that is why our people have written such epic scriptures tell me what happened to arjuna he was profusely shedding tears after coming to kurukshetra battlefield krishna first of all admonished him saying that arjuna what you do is uncalled for don't think of or speak about sympathy in the battlefield here everyone has come willingly optionally to fight and kill the enemy or get killed by him none of them will be surprised by these developments in such a place where is the necessity for bringing sympathy at all so he admonished him my friend krishna is speaking to me like that there should be a lot of meaning therefore i accept his words and his tears stopped he became a questioner thereafter suddenly from the mind level arjuna was elevated to the intelligence level as a result of which he started asking beautiful questions krishna was answering now in answering krishna is explaining this philosophy this analysis he was analyzing the human personality analyzing the world analyze the interactions between the human and the world these are the only three factors for us to understand and then he understood everything then said did the scene before him change it was the same so earlier the scene produced dukha now it did not produce dukha he became equanimous and this was accomplished in two and a half hours now in the case of parikshit what happened Shukamuni came and spoke to him for six and a half days. At the end of it, Parikshit said, "My dear sir, I have understood all that you have said. I have absorbed. I express my gratitude. Now I withdraw my senses from the objects, mind from the senses, intelligence from the mind, and I am going to be immersed in the depth of my own soul." Takshaka came. bit him not bit him bit his body from the poison a rose a fire in which the body was burned into ashes others saw and reported parikshit was not there by then and what was the effect only he heard he heard he did not meditate he did not do any austerity he did not do any religious discipline he only heard shukadeva heard shukadeva and the mind became absorbed tell me what is the way to dissolve sukadukhas then we have the monumental example of shri rama who was addressed by vasishta deva for 18 days from morning to evening in between he was totally immersed and vasishta had to stop his nadesh then he waited rama revived and at the end of it rama had to be awakened as i told you so is wisdom practice only or something else <laughs> if you ask this question i have to answer we have got something called yoga sadhana patanjali's yoga sutras are there something similar but what we represent and we would like to represent as the wisdom path most comfortable it doesn't have any kind of aberrations in it all the yogic paths are dealing with the body doing different mudras tantras and all that you know we have got an aghori cult they always look for the dead bodies in order to do their kriyas all such aberrations are there in the other practices but in this you will find this is a path of purity goodness nobility truthfulness sublimity enrichment elevation expansion and enlightenment